Yeah, we got our sponsor of Marker Pen today. Mine ran out of ink. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so let's continue. Word of sponsor. <laughs> Differential equation. Integrating factors. Which sometimes I just call it as IF. IF, not IF. Right. So let's begin. Okay, there are many ways to solve integrating factors. Differential equation is integrating factors. Uh, you can use the formula method, but I find the formula method to be very, very tedious and there's too many things, too many alphabets for you to memorize. So I'll go with the usual pattern methods. Okay, the pattern methods, I'll tell you how, how effective is it. I not, normally, even lecturers need to review this topic before they teach because you just need to memorize the pattern. And I have once did the questions after nine months of not doing it, of not revising it, I just remember the pattern, I can still do it. Alright, so pattern method is a very good way to go. So let's begin. The pattern is this, first and foremost, the dy dx need to be alone. It's alone, there's no x, there's no y in front. And then you can see y here. Sorry, you can see y there. Y, y, y variables. And you can see over here, x or constant. And you can see over here, no y. These are the patterns. The first thing you need to see before we begin. Alright, so once you see all of these things, we're only taking the rate. So we find IF, which means the integrating factors. Just taking this rate part. Okay, watch very carefully what we're going to do. This IF, we take this only here, the rate part. Whatever times Y, okay? Whatever times with the Y. In this case, it's just 1 over X. So we do exponent integrate 1 over X since it's X dx. Alright? Exponent integrate, the power integrate, 1 over X, whatever we have over here, dx. Integ integ integrating 1 over x, what do we get? Ln y ln. Differentiate x, we got 1, okay? So that's why I keep on saying, if your integration is good, this topic will be good, easy. So we got ourselves e ln x. What did I miss? Plus c, right? For this part, if there's no plus c. Find if no plus c. Okay, if you put plus C here, I see students who do plus C here say goodbye to 50 marks because it's going to be a long working. I just write one more so for the computer views, easier to see. So E ln X, I can also rewrite S. Since E and ln is disappear, just X. And we are good to go. Are you okay so far? Now we're taking this value of X. And then we multiply. Here. Multiply to before find IF. Okay, not to the original equation, but just one step before finding IF. Sometimes you might have a longer equation, and then you have to manipulate until you reach here, and then you do here, then you multiply this before you find the IF. I've seen students who multiply to the original equation, and bye-bye, 15 marks. Let's continue. Once you multiply here, 
dx dy dx plus and yeah we can go a bit slower let's just uh, write the whole thing for a while what can you do this and here you can simplify this and here you can combine x cube so we get ourselves x actually this one is black u i dx plus y goes to x cube if you are good i mean one day when you are good you may skip the process to straight away here you may skip but if you are not yet that good then do step by one by one but what i'm trying to say these steps of simplification is necessary i've seen students who do this step and skip these steps they lose one marks all right so this simplification process has one has one marks value so do it okay the next steps is a bit of a magic is you take if and you times it with it times with y what's your if what's your if x okay take this x and you times with y just times with y so if is going to be appear in two places one is when you multiply to the original to the one step before the simplification so before you find the if one more is over here and once you got here you d dx based on what over there lah if theta is theta lah what here it actually means is yeah i can i would like to show you but it's quite a long process if you differentiate what does this mean if i if i'm going to differentiate x and y okay x and y is a product rule yes so it's a uv if i differentiate this thing here i'm going to get what i got on top i can show you a bit differentiate x what you get one so this is u prime v and the other one you differentiate y what do you get e y dx so this one is v prime u but you don't need to be able to know that for you to be able to proceed what is kind of saying is it's kind of a factorize of differentiation what you just need to remember whatever you got here you do x times y d dx that's the pattern All right just i f times y d dx that's it and what else you got on the right side just bring it down s cube okay see the pattern so this steps is we differentiate here the next steps is integration whatever you got here came down and come down d dx x y you integrate to the respect of if you differentiate the x we also integrate to the respect of the x same goes to the right side we integrate whatever you got here is still come down x cube we still integrate to d dx Okay, if you differentiate and then you integrate, what do you get? Same thing. 
So x squared, differentiate, 2x, integrate lah. Just diff integrate, right? So this one here, you can see the differentiation sign exists with the integration sign. So yes, we cancel it off. It's, but, uh, well, uh, we should not cancel it in the process. <laughs> the process is there. So, so what happened next is that it cancel off x, y. <laughs> we need to see, the marker need to see this. Okay? I'm, I'm trying to show you it cancel. Uh, some lecturers, they agree that these two process can be combined. You, see it, you skip these steps and then you straight away go to these steps. But I, I, I and some of the other lecturers I disagree with it because in my opinion, we need to show the differentiation sign clearly straight to the integration sign clearly. So I, my method, I recommend you show these steps, you show these steps. You will see some of the revision books, they skip these steps. But if you want full marks, I recommend do both of them. Integrate x cubes. X4 over 4, okay? <laughs> Plus e. So what is important for you to know is the plus C does not exist at finding IF, but it appears down here, okay? And over here, we would like to have our Y alone without this X. There are multiple ways of writing. Madam Huini and I, we highly agree that this is the best way of writing. Y equals to X4 over 4 plus C. This x, we just bring it down. So we get ourselves 1 over x. And you bracket everything that you're going to have there. But you will find in some, uh, sort of most of the books, will give you this answer instead. They multiply inside. x cubed over 4 plus c over x. Even in fact, in your tutorial book, we'll give you these answers. Both of them are correct. But Madam Huini and I, we prefer these answers instead. Because if you both of the answers are correct, both of them are going to give you the same marks. Which one has extra working? This down. All right, so why do you want to do extra working? And in fact, I've seen more students answer this way instead. From here. They only give me here. They did not have this over x over here. And what will happen to their marks? They will minus one marks. You will have the tendencies of making these mistakes. So that's why Madam Mahwini and I, we agree that this is the best way for you to leave your answers. And you still have the same marks. But in your revision books and your tutorial books, they will give you this one. So from here, I'm giving you a choice. Which one are you going to choose? The safe way or a bit slightly dangerous, but you kind of look smart? Kiasu. Your choice. Okay, so that's the first example for you. We do a lot of examples of this until you remember them in your brain. And you will tell me, sir, I'm bored. Hey, man, as long as you remember, I'm more than happy enough. Okay, next example. Okay, oh sorry, sine 2x. Oh, that's one of the most embarrassing mistakes. Copying the question, question wrongly. And then start saying to the lecturer, Sir, why I don't get the answers? Because you copy it wrongly. <laughs> okay, so how do we start? Do we already got the patterns? Why not? Because the patterns say the dy dx is alone. And as everyone else, as much as you live, would like to stay alone, but your x keep on coming and bugging you. Panjot's intended. <laughs> so, <laughs> how do we start from here? 
How do we use that? We want our x divided by dx to be alone, but we have an x over here. So what should we do? We divide the whole thing by x. So dy dx minus y over x equals to what? What do we get this x? X sine to x. This one simplified, okay? Now do we got the pattern? Let's have a look. dy dx alone. What else? You see that's y. You see here? No y. Good. And what do we got as x and constant? Negative 1 over x. You need to include the negative. If you don't include the negative, bye bye 15 marks. Okay, how do you proceed from here once you got the pattern? There's a long process of find IF. How do you do find IF? You X exponent integrate of what? Your constant or X here. I forgot to write down. Negative 1 over x dx. Do not forget the negative. The negative is part of the constant. So we got ourselves e negative ln x. Plus c? No plus c in if. Find if. No plus c. Okay, please look very carefully here. Some of you make this careless mistake. I've seen students who say, oh, e ln. So they can say it off, so they, they get themselves negative x. I've seen this a lot, even in top A students. What's the correct way to proceed? We see this is negative. We don't like this negative. What do we do? <laughs> we don't make it positive. They see ln here. Be positive in life, sir. <laughs> Not here, man. <laughs> so, e ln x power of negative 1. Okay, now we got e and ln. We can make them disappear. So, it becomes... Yep, you're right. So, you got there 1 over x. Very good. Are you okay? So, now what should we do with this 1 over x? Lines back to which one? We got two equations. The second, the one before we find IF. Times two before IF. Okay? Sometimes you times you actually you got this one back, so it doesn't matter. So what we get from here. 1 over x dy dx minus y over x 1 over x oopsie what's the next steps that I need to do? what's the next steps? Uh, F times Y? Not yet. You need to simplify. So we got 1 over X. And that's this one we got ourselves y over x squared okay uh, let's go one step further and I'll explain things a bit 
Uh, what's the next steps? I F times Y. What's your I F? One over X <coughs> times Y. Just put Y. D D X and then this thing came down. Sign to X. Okay, uh, let's say you do these steps, and then you go straight here. Okay? You do this step, and then you go straight here. Basically, you're skipping this process. Is it okay? Because we sort of simplify over here, right? It's not okay because there's some difference down here. Right? So this simplified steps is necessary for you to get one more marks. If you miss these steps, you lose your marks, okay? I can only say it's up for you to follow. This is one mark in exams. Please do them. So after you differentiate I F times Y, and then this one comes down, what's the next steps? We integrate both sides. Whatever you got here came down, whatever you got here came down. So here we diff, here we integrate. Now, what do we get on the left side? Left first, yeah, left is easier. What happened to differentiate and integrate? You cancel off, so just y over x. You're right in this way, okay? <laughs> Do not cancel it off over there. Now what happened to the right side? Negative cos 2x over 2. Okay, one more time I've mentioned before, if your integration is good, then this topic will be easy. So make sure your chapter 1 is good first. Are you okay with this answer? Oh, some of you said never again, sir. <laughs> we tricked by you more than once. <laughs> Okay, now you got this far. What's the best way to write down your answers? Do I? Is this okay as the final answers? Why not? You need the Y alone. So how is Y alone? Y equals to? Cos 2x over 2 plus c. We can either do bring this x times over there, so you got here, or you can write down in this way. Are you okay? Which one's correct in exams? This one. This one? Is this it? Okay, sorry, sorry. What's wrong with the second one? You need to multiply here, and then you also need to multiply here, which any orang selalu lupa lah. Right now, both of them correct? But which one do Madam Winnie and I prefer? Which one is the book answers? Mostly the second one. Which one's smarter? Which one, Kesu? <laughs> Up to you. <laughs> okay, both of them are correct right now, but Madam Huini and I, we prefer the first one. Last workings. Okay, now you see the patterns. We can go faster. Actually, I have started to wonder. There's other part of the world, I mean, not excluding Singapore. Do they know the word kiasu? <laughs> now I start to wonder. You 
Hizkia tu Hokkien or Mandarin? Oh, just a slang. Oopsie. Well, uh, sorry viewers, you need to see this way. Yeah, it's a bit too long. I, I'm just writing down here for the for my internet viewers. Okay, so how do we begin? Dy dx need to be alone, not alone. So the first steps. Divide everything by x. Dy dx equals to x e negative x minus y. Doesn't seem right yet. This is looks a bit messy. This negative y. We bring it to that side. So dy dx plus y x e negative x. Do we got the pattern now? Sort of y. Did I miss something? 1 of x. We already divide by x, right? This one missing. This one reduced by 1. This one the x missing. Okay. The X cancel off. I think we're doing fine. Okay, let's see whether we got the pattern. Okay, firstly, your dy dx. dy dx alone. Okay, and then we see y. And then we see over here. No y. Okay, people say, sir, but there's no x this time, sir. Yes, but what I've been writing is, is either x or constant. In this case, what we don't have x, yes, but do we have a constant? What's your constant? 1. Then we do. Find if. Oh, I mean, even my marker pen is a problem. Too big. Find if. How do you find if? Exponent. See here, I do an arrow, not an equal. An arrow need to be like double double line. If this one, it means process. This this one means process. This one means like next. Arrow, integrate. 1 dx. Integrate 1. ex. Plus c. No, plus c. Find if no plus c. What's your next steps? What should I do with this? V times into which one? There are three equations here. The third one. Why are we multiplying to the third one? Times before if. Before find if, sorry. Okay, not the original one. Times before we find the if. Once we get the pattern. So over here, I don't... If you're good enough by now, you were able to simplify straight away. So ex, dy dx plus ex, dy dx. Ex times with e negative x, what happened? It becomes 1. Cancel off. So x, if you are good enough right now, you can straight away write the simplification process. Okay. Times and simplify. What 
What's your next process? Integrates too fast. I f times y. Oh, so okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. Ah, I have double dy dx. Huh? All right, my bad. I was a bit too fast. So e x times y, y equals to the right side x. What do I miss? D dx, no d y dx. Okay, here you diff. What's your next process? Now you integrate. Whatever you got here, bring it down. Did I miss something? Come again? Oh, shoot. Right, right, right. Come again? Dx times y. Which steps? I f times y. What's the problem? I have the EX here. Our IF is EX, right? IF times Y. Are you okay? Or did I make mistakes? Uh, our IF is... Ah, not, not yet. The x, y here. And then this one, transfer. Okay, let's do the left side first. Left side is easier. What do we get? Integrate and differentiate. The x, y. Yeah, I'm still fine. The right side, integrate. X squared over 2. Plus C. Is this good enough as our final answers? No, why not? You want your Y alone? Sorry. So Y equals to X squared over 2 plus C. So what happened to your EX? You multiply it at size. Okay, uh, over here there are multiple ways of writing. This one is fine. And sometimes we sort of prefer this one as well. So both of them are fine. Are we done? Why not? The girls are perceptions, perceptive. We got here, okay? What does this mean? S equals to zero, Y equals to one. If you miss it, then say goodbye to three more marks. Okay, uh, now that's a bit slightly tricky x0, y1, we got it un, un, at these three equations here. One, two, three. Which one is the best for you to substitute? Uh, it sometimes depends on luck and sometimes dep depends on preferences. Sometimes this is the easiest, sometimes this is the easiest. 
personally, I like to transfer once you have finished substitute everything. I like to substitute once we have transferred everything. Personally. But sometimes it depends on luck. Sometimes it was, haha, this is easier. It depends on your luck. So I'm going to use this guess this one. Okay, between these two, personally, I like this one more. Because it looks smarter with the negative there. <laughs> so yeah, that's me of being kiasu. <laughs> But hey, both of them are correct, I'm just saying. Okay, now substitute y1. Don't, don't get it wrong, okay? Sometimes I, even I myself, substitute 0 over here. So y1 equals to e0, 1. Let's move on. This technique doesn't work. So C is one. What should we do with this? Substitute up here. <coughs> and this is a good enough. And yeah, uh, since this has been a very, 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 very long working steps, I like to finish it off with that. <coughs> Triple dot, which means conclusion. <coughs> Sometimes I even include this one more. <coughs> okay, got it? I missed something? <coughs> ah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> Sorry, coughing. <laughs> ah, yeah, even I miss sometimes. Very good. Okay, let's give you one example for you to try on your own. Okay, without me helping you, try this one on your own. Do you still remember all those annoying patterns? Do not look at any of your notes. Good luck. Do not look at your notes. Viewers, good luck trying it on your own. They're going to do one very quickly. So this is EX. We don't want to have EX. So we divide everything by EX. E negative X over here. And over there. Now you see the patterns. So I see that. Divide the X alone. Y, no Y. And only this one here. You see my constant. I see my constant too. So I find IF. E to X. And I take this one and multiply it to the one before IF. So E to X. DY DX plus 2Y. It doesn't matter. The arrangement of E2X before or after doesn't really matter. E2X minus 1 minus X. Lah. EX. And go down here. AF times Y. IF is E2X. Y. And whatever you got here, bring it down. And differentiate with DDX. I, I highly recommend that these steps do the integration and the differentiation separately. And in 
integrate x to x. The left side first, it's easier. e to x, y, this one integrate e x plus c. And it's good enough you want our y to be alone, so just transfer this to the that side. I prefer my answer to be e negative 2x dx plus c we should not stop here because we got this one which means x equals to 0 y equals to 2 Sorry, I, I see I made the mistake again. 2 e 0 e 0 plus c. This is 1, this is 1. So 2 1 plus c, c is 1. Take this value and substitute inside here. Alhamdulillah, we got the answer. Okay. Good. Okay, one more example just trying to show. Okay, let's say you're given this question. How do you proceed? Hmm? Come again? Right, yeah, that's right side, that's why. Some of you may say, aha, sir. This one, transfer here. This one, transfer there. I understand, that's what you're trying to say. Minus EY over X equals to negative 1 over X. Some of you might get this far. Are you okay? And, and then you see, ha, sir. This is what we have learned just now, sir. This is dy dx alone. And then I see y. And I see no y. And I can see x and constant. x or constant. So this is definitely, sir, for sure, if. And I know how to find if. I can get 15 marks, sir. I'm not saying it's wrong. You can still get the answers, but then you're going to go a very, very long way. What did I say to you when to use IF? When do you use IF? When you can't separate things out and you can see there's an IF patterns, then you think you say you do IF, okay? When you can't split it up. Another way of doing this thing is uh, we still transfer this to the right side. It's not as easy as, easy as that. And this thing I can combine. And what do I get now? dy, ey minus 1 dx and x so now it transform into 1 over ey minus 1 1 over x dx boom boom this is a separable technique which is faster way to solve of course this part is how do you solve them this is substitution it's another story uh, the main the main thing I want to tell you is yes separable can I mean F can give you dances but separable is faster. Madam Huni has tried this question and she said um, sometimes you need to speed faster that way. Just because you can do IF doesn't mean you are smart enough. When to use IF that makes you smarter. Understand? That's what wisdom means.
Okay, if you choose to continue this doing these questions, the questions goes further that for y equals to ln two when x equals to one, the answers given, which I have to be honest, I haven't checked it, is y equals to ln two two minus x. Good luck. <laughs>